Hey guys, it's Abner here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, please subscribe. As I help you answer the question, is it really worth it to get a National Trust membership? is for you if you live outside of the UK and you're wondering how to find unique spots when you come and visit the UK or you live in the UK and you're like I'm not really comfortable traveling right now I'm not really feeling international travel how can I explore more the UK well maybe the National Trust maybe an answer I don't know yet let's see firstly what is the National Trust so the National Trust is a heritage conservation organization in the UK and they're in charge of like basically preserving and looking over um, properties and estates that are of historic relevance or natural beauty in the UK. So basically they overlook a couple of old shaky buildings. I was just joking. But National Trust properties do tend to be like castles or like manor houses that have significant history attached to them. Gardens, sort of real sort of fields and stuff that you can like walk around. A lot of people associate National Trust with old pensioners who just spend their spare time visiting these like old buildings and gardens and walking around them. And so I never really thought of getting a membership. Like what's the point? But a few weeks ago my friend Rihanna reached out to me saying she got a National Trust membership. She got it because she wants to explore more of England through visiting National Trust properties and she's going to visit one per month and actually join her. And the biggest incentive is that for people who are 25 years and under, it is discounted membership. So for adult, usually it costs £72. But under the age of 26, it's only actually £36. I said, why not? So when you apply for a National Trust membership, they send you this box and within the box, you're given a bit of an intro letter and attached to the letter is your National Trust membership. It honestly took, I think, less than a week for the box to come, so that's pretty cool. You also get this booklet in here, it talks about how like, hey, it's discovering England, like my friend mentioned. It's the opportunity to contribute. So when you buy the membership, you're contributing to like animal conservation and like property conservation, terrace conservation. So it's a charitable effort as well. The bigger part of the package is this, which is your National Trust handbook. It basically lists like all their properties. It's a 2022 handbook that they gave me. So it's a good thing that I signed up in January. If you're watching this video in early the year, probably worth signing up so you get up-to-date detail. I've just taken a look through this and it's so cool. It's like on some pages they have like maps. Every region you're in, like, I don't know, London or North or Northwest, etc. Per region, they've listed all their National Trust properties and places. And for each property, they have like a little description of what the property is. They also have like what you can find on that property. Like if you can find gardens, like a house or castle, if you can find a gift shop. Some of them have like a, a few pictures. So this is your A and D of the National Trust. So this book is a really great book to kind of browse through and see if it's worth it to sign up for the National Trust. If there are things in there you're like, actually, I want to see this. I want to travel to this place. You don't need to sign up to the National Trust to actually find this information. If you go online to the National Trust website and browse through properties online, I think they have the same exact thing on their website. The last thing I've been given is a little National Trust sticker. You can't really see, it's kind of faint. But yeah, so that's what I've gotten in my little box. This weekend, I decided to try out my National Trust membership for the first time and head to Food of Properties. So let's go and let me show you my experience. <music> Rihanna, say hi. Hello. This is like Orlando or like Paris. Well, I would probably like to go to Orlando, but I think that might be a bit out of budget. So. <laughs> All right, guys. So we've made it to a national trust. Hey. Hello. Property, and we have like our cards out. Let me show you. This is a free ticket in. You went to a ticket stand 
and they scanned our cards and then they'll just let us in. So we probably will have to like scan our card again at the entrance to the castle. But it's pretty straightforward. And was parking free? And parking is free with a membership. Parking was actually free with a membership as well. So far, going really smoothly. So Castle, how are you feeling? Beautiful. Oh, yeah, they say. So pretty. Look at the box. I wanna go there someday. I know we're going somewhere. Think to the danger song. It all points right to that I set myself aside Either way, on this track If you don't know the way We can stop Rihanna was just like, we are probably the youngest people here, apart from the kids. By like a solid 30 or 40. Guys, but we should be the people here, because like... This is the future of the National Trust. Yeah. We are saving. We are the future of this castle. And it's like half price for us, you know? It is, it's worth it. I guess people don't know. You know? Yeah, I think people don't know. But also not everyone's interested in like history, you know? Yeah, but I don't really care too much about the history, but it's quite cool just to come, you yeah. know, because it's pretty, you get outside. Yeah. We do some steps, we do some cardio. Like, yeah, it's a nice, like, if you want to walk and like get that in, so it's nice definitely worth place. it. Especially if you live in an area that's like, you have a ton of like national trust properties around you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. So apart from the castle, you've also got like a tea room and a shop here. So it's like a little spot. Bye castle. What are we doing next actually? I don't mind. Yeah, we should like Rome and see what's up. Free trip. Free trip. Whoop. Right, it's a very cute town. We have no plans, so we're just following where everyone else is going and where it looks popular. And hopefully we find some interesting stuff. come to Rye for like a whole weekend I feel like if you came to Rye for a weekend you would it would be like a slow weekend actually kind of small considering a lot of people do come on holiday here we're going to another national trust property is closed but we're hoping we get access to grounds um to finish our day so this is the castle guys the castle isn't actually open but that's the cool thing about the national trust properties that a lot of them are like obviously the building but also they have like grounds surrounding them there's still a ton of people here just to walk around the grounds and to walk around like the lake and the castle even from the outside it is kind of chilly i cannot lie we are actually freezing cold but like as we walk we will like warm up this place is so cute they have this little tea room here we have this part where you can just like sit it's like a little garden place what's that oh. so cute we're trying to get nearer to the castle it's kind of blocked but there's like some empty bushes we can go through this is very suspect rihanna okay, wait yeah. wait oh my god shoot realized that that random house we were taking videos of wasn't actually the castle. 
literally just a random house we were like sneaking up on <laughs> someone's private property you know we were literally just like doing up tourists on someone's house Monday now. It's been two days since we went on our little National Trust adventure. And how did I find it? I can't lie. It was really, really interesting. It was really cool. The place we chose, Bearden Castle, Scotney Castle, were all really, really cute. And just by visiting those two National Trust properties on Saturday, we were able to make a whole road trip out of our day. We literally went to Rye. There's always like interesting stuff nearby, which I thought was really, really cool. Would I recommend a National Trust membership? Well, these are the pros I found. One, I thought it was a cool way to really walk through history. Two, I really like the active part of it like a lot of the national trust properties are like gardens like natural place of beauty and instead of you just doing your normal walk that like you do every single week i feel like you can always mix and match it by going to national trust property and doing a walk in some really beautiful um surroundings thirdly as i mentioned there's a discount if you're under the age of 26 however there are a few cons that i found personally one if you're not into sightseeing as an activity you may find a lot of national trust properties very very boring because a lot of it is sightseeing a lot of it is just history a lot of it is walking around getting your steps in two not all the national trust properties i find personally are accessible when i was looking at where to go i realized that like the places that we went to like scotney castle for example it'd be very very hard to reach there if you don't have a car and so if it wasn't for rihanna who had a car i wouldn't be able to access scotney castle and there are actually a ton of other properties that are like well out into the countryside aren't very near to london and even though there are a few properties near london they're not the best ones in my personal opinion and that may be true for other cities in the uk in their booklet they have tried to kind of show you ones where like you can access by public transport etc but i don't think there's full coverage and the third thing which is not really a pro or con but something to consider if you're above the age of 25 is it worth paying the 72 pounds so for someone like me as i said 36 pounds if i visit like more than three national properties a year i basically got that 36 pounds back but if you're just looking to use a national trust membership just because you have one staycation you're doing in summer to cornwall or something going to this one village where you know that okay if i have a national trust membership i'll get free entry into this a place but beyond that you're not going to use it it probably isn't worth paying 72 pounds to get those are my two cents i hope you found this video helpful and i'll see you next one thank you friends what do you want? What do you want from me?